Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you came back and joined me. I want to continue our conversation about how you can have a quiet time with God. I'm going to give you a scripture. It's in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. And uh, so I'm just going to flip over to that passage. Whoops. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. And it's a passage that's uh, I find a very intriguing passage. It says, Therefore gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And last week I introduced this spiritual journal, and I want to show you how to use it. So when it says in this passage, gird up the loins of your mind and be sober it means to take your life seriously so uh, I've written in the scriptural journal here the spiritual journal don't just slide into the day meet it aggressively in other words be sober about it if you go into your day unprepared then you will not be prepared for the troubles that come into your way or the opportunities that come your way as well and so you might ask the question, well, okay, so I should be serious or sober about my life. Uh, how would I pray about that? Well, you could pray like this. Just say, Lord, help me to keep my mind centered on you and help me to be mentally awake and alert, prepared for troubles, to watch out, protect myself. Also, see opportunities that there are there for me in my life, opportunities to serve others, or opportunities for me to engage in life profitably. But it, the Bible helps you and helps me to be prepared for our day. And how do you apply that? Well, what, what is written in this journal says, I will prepare my mind for Christ-centered thoughts today by meditating on my quiet time insight while driving to work rather than listening to the radio. So maybe on the, on the way to work, if you're driving, you might just stop and say, okay, Lord, help me to be prepared for this day, not only to be a sober and alert so I don't get hurt on the way, but to, to just be taking things seriously and seeing where are you at work in my life today? How, how can you make me uh, more successful, more profitable, or more helpful to others? It just... It's just a way of making more profit uh, spiritually out of your day rather than just wasting your time, okay? God bless you. I'll see you next week when I have another insight.